Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com making this a small video about uh, some of the recap uh, the trade setups uh, for the last week. Um, now let's get it started because I need to make it quick. Uh, this is a yen index. Okay, um, why index? Um, I'm, I'm teaching, um, lately I'm teaching and you know stressing a lot on uh, learning about these indexes because um, they are a very good source of uh, uh, you know knowing which currency is getting stronger and which one is weaker, so that you can uh, take the this you know, according uh, uh, pair and uh, you know the same same pair and then uh, uh, trade them accordingly. Um, you know if you if you have a pair where the one currency is getting very weak and the other one is strong, then it moves very fast, okay, and you have a good chance. So and this. Um, this technique is, uh, you know, really uh, showing some uh, real good results. So anyway, let's get started. This is a yen index that I'm showing, and then I'm following a triangle here after the wave four, uh, three finish here. It falls into wave four triangle, and uh, usually these uh, uh, contracting triangles have five waves, uh, five legs, and uh, three, 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 three internal structure. You can see it's A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, and uh, we were here at D. So uh, I was expecting a, a wave down for the E wave, a move down, and then break uh, the triangle to the upside and, uh, you know, follow the previous trend. So let's get uh, started and see what happened step by step. And uh, this is exactly what happened. We came down, you know, exactly uh, to the plan for wave E, and uh, right here, you can see that it came down and touched the triangle, and I sent out this chart saying that contract to triangle is complete at the end of wave E to finish wave four, as we discussed in the last webinar. Actually, you know, the whole, you know, our, I'm following this triangle uh, in my webinar and explaining you know, what's happening to the yen currency and uh, how to play those uh, pairs accordingly. So now we need to go up to start wave 5 and uh, hint was like going above 55, 75 will confirm the up move which was this but we start getting into these in the trades uh, from the bottom uh, anyway. This was like a, just a confirmation that yes now we are in good hands and yes we're gonna fly but uh, until that was like a danger right but uh, we got into the trades uh, from the bottom let me show you a few uh, there. If I have one, see this is what happened. Finally, you know that after the finishing this wave E, according to my plan, it went up all the way, and now uh, you know, on a Friday it came back to test this. Uh, uh, the trend line is broken to the upside, so we are, you know, we broke the triangle already, and I just came back to test the back side of it and the trend line, and then uh, I think uh, we're gonna. Follow up. Let's see what happens. Uh, so far, it's following our plan. And uh, the trades, yeah, one of these trades, um, USD and for you can see uh, when that happens, I also have a harmonic, you know, I, uh, I mix things up, you know, like uh, uh, Elliott Wave, harmonic, and then trend line channels, uh, support resistance. Three strategies that I use, three methods actually. So um, the Elliott wave, I was I was counting Elliott wave on the index, and here USD yen was making some kind of harmonic pattern, and one after the other. There was here is like a butterfly here. Then you can see one here, the Gurdley, and then I was expecting a butterfly here. Uh, if you know what it, what they are, and first the C point and the D, and the C point uh, did get quite there exactly, but it start going up, and at the break I got in here. Um, I have my style to trading, you know, from the point C, but if I cannot get the exactly point C, then the second trade is the break of point B and then sell at point D, which I didn't because it didn't give me a chance to keep going. But uh, we had a trade here uh, at the break of D. Uh, you can see on these uh, diagrams and recommendation how to trade those uh, these patterns on my website. And let's see what happened. Anything else I have? Yes, uh, was a pound yen daily chart, and uh, this one also I'll be following. Uh, we have three, and here ABC with a four correction, and says, well, I thought maybe we will go up for the wave five according to the plan, 
this was wave one and two and we will go for wave three okay and what happened exactly we went up all the way up to this high and then uh, Friday we dropped back to this support actually okay there's another chart that I'm not showing right now but I'm just showing that from bottom to this top here which in my webinar I, I told everyone to you know if you get in and you know just get out here because you never know it, it always you know uh, pull back before uh, follow it through you know so that's what it did exactly <laughs> but anyway from bottom to top more than 400 pips rally so that's that's um, uh, the yen I have euro yen no you're not euro yen this is a USD franc I have it here the support okay and I uh, wanted to go at least here so let's see what happened on this one uh, this is what happened on this one okay nice and clean bounce right exactly from what I was mentioning and we broke this actually I was uh, hoping that we would probably go there and then we'll see but we broke uh, nice and clean and this was the trade I think I have a trade entry see right here nice and clean magic wave uh, entry took you all the way up straight line no turning back no looking back this is the power of it and this is a uh, I'm showing the entry from uh, 30 minute but you can have a lot of entries in 5 minute 1 minute 5 minute 15 minute you know all of these entries here indicators are hidden but you know that's a lot of entries here right here this is a beautiful entry right here okay <laughs> anyway this was entry here Okay, what else I have? What else? What else? What else? All right, here the Aussie USD. Everybody was like, "Nah, this is gonna go down, 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 down." I says, "Well, enough of this sell off now. <laughs> Let's go up already, exactly from here, from 89, I guess." And uh, how I did it, and uh, this is how I did it so far. It was just big weekly candle. You can see bullish candle gave me 250 pip. I uh, didn't trade this. I'm just showing you that I I, I sent it out. And uh, some of those people probably have traded uh, my uh, subscribers, so I don't know. But uh, it was um, I I was expecting it, but on on, on the other hand, uh, I like the yen pair more, so I I was trading yen pairs actually. Okay, let's see anything else. Oh yeah, this one is uh, silver. The first time uh, somebody asked me if I can do the the favor to them and uh, gold and silver. Uh, fortunately, I don't have the gold chart here, but. The silver chart this is what I uh, was making and, and showing that you know it's like again we have three ABC we have four and we should go but we have five and uh, yeah we starting already right so we bounced almost like 60 pips so far and I need to break this uh, sloping turn line and then we'll be going pull back and then keep going okay but this is uh, you know all of these and these are some of the charts that I sent out and I uh, mentioned in the webinar and uh, all of most of my uh, subscriber who are really following me they, you know they come up with like 300 400 500 pips uh you know per week easy with these uh indexes and and yen pairs especially yen pairs moving very good okay so i have a lot of uh, good setups uh, for the next week and if you want to join us uh, just go on my website subscribe and uh, start making some real good pips Okay, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.